Hey everyone, in this video we will cover how to correct the Total Connect 2 setup programming error for Vista residential panels such as the 15P, 20P, and 21IP. If you log in to Total Connect 2 and see a setup programming error, then Total Connect is not receiving information from the panel. For Vista residential panels such as the 15P, 20P, and 21IP, this might be caused by panel programming or communicator programming. Please log out of Total Connect 2 before correcting the programming. After logging in to AlarmNet 360 and pulling up the account, choose Edit under the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, then click the blue arrow. This brings up the Edit Account window. Here, at the bottom of the window, click the link labeled Click Here to Program Advanced Features. On the Advanced Programming window, you may need to scroll down to see the Remote Services options. There are five drop-downs pertaining to Remote Services. Remote Access, Direct Wire Address, Keypad Type, Email Notification, and Multi-Mode Address. For Vista Residential Panels, set Remote Access for Enabled. The direct wire address is the virtual keypad's address. For the Vista 15P, the address can be 1 or 2. For the Vista 20Ps and 21IPs, the address can be set for 1, 2, 5, or 6. We recommend leaving it at the default of 2 in the communicator. This is programmed in field 189 of the panel, and the second entry should be a 5. The keypad type needs to be set for full control. Email notification should be set for Total Connect 2.0 Enhanced Reports. The multi-mode address is for RAS, or Remote Interactive Services. This must be set for 25. If your panel is a Revision 9, RAS can be enabled in Field 91 of the panel by making the second value a 2. If your panel is a revision 10 or higher, no programming is needed. After making these changes, click Save and Transfer Data to Device. If these options are already enabled, just choose the Send Data command. After the communicator retrieves this data from AlarmNet 360, log back in to Total Connect 2. It can take several minutes for the error to clear after the communicator retrieves data from AlarmNet 360. You may need to arm and disarm to update status. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.